Hi everyone. So in this unit, we're going to look at finding the domains and then simplifying rational expressions. And as I said at the end of the previous unit, where you're solving equations that are quadratic and you're sure you've got to use the zero product property, and I said, if you don't know how to factor by then, you're toast. The same thing applies here. If you don't know how to factor at this point, go back and figure it out because you're in big trouble right now if you don't know how to do it. Not going to lie. Totally take the glass half empty, but it's true. All right. Okay. So we're going to look at finding the domain here of functions. Now, when you're talking about the domain, it's all about the denominator. All right. In fact, I'm going to take a quote out of uh, David Lee. Well, no, Sandy Hagar. No, was it David Lee Roth? No, it was David Lee Roth of Van Halen. Um, if you listen to the Van Halen live album, I'm a huge Van Halen. Love those guys. I've seen them in concert. Um, but there's a there's this part where they're talking about Panama, right? Where they're singing the song Panama, and in the middle of the song, all of a sudden, David Lee Roth goes into his talk where he says, "You know, last night I was sitting there in my hotel room, and I was thinking about the concert the next day, and I was all worried. Meanwhile, my bandmates had four awesome chicks, and they were having a great old time, and there I was in my room worrying about tomorrow when I should have been." Worried about last night. I should have been worried about last night. Who cares about tomorrow? Bleep tomorrow. I can't say some of the words he said. Uh, he got a little vulgar. But the point is, he said, bleep tomorrow, okay? In this case, I'm going to totally go to the, the David Lee Roth route on this. And D stands for domain in this case. D also stands for David, as in David Lee Roth of Van Halen. So let's make that connection if you want. But when we're talking about the domain, it's all about the denominator. Ooh, another D word. Okay? Who cares about the numerator? Leave the numerator. Okay, it's all about the denominator. Okay. When you look at fractions, what can the denominator not be? It can't be a zero, right? And that's what I'm after here. What can what'll make these guys go to zero? Well, it can't be a two, and it can't be a negative three, right? So we talked about step builder notation in the previous video. That's so how I'm going to write my answer for this using set W. So x is values of x such that x is not 2 and x is not negative 3. So that's my answer here. I'm going to grab red. Red's bad. Suppose there's an answer there in the multiple choice test where it says values of x such that x cannot be 2, negative 3, and 1. Well, that is not the right answer, okay? It's that way, right there. Who cares about the numerator? You plug a 1 in the numerator, it makes it not the numerator go to 0. That's fine, that's possible, right? I'm more interested in what doesn't go to k. What's going to make this thing not happen? It's not going to be um, continuous. It's not going to work out where your denominator has an x of 2 and x equals negative 3. Okay, now, on my exams, I've seen some final exams too. If you're taking my class, you're going to see this guy as an option in the multiple choice test. And a lot of people will circle that, okay? Don't circle that, okay? Think David Lee Roth. Think David Lee Roth, domain, denominator. Who cares about the numerator? Forget the numerator. Leave the numerator. Okay? If you're in the square, go ahead and insert whatever word you want there. But you can't stress that enough because a lot of people mess that up. And I don't know if I'm going to get all the way through all these guys. In this video, I may have to do this in two parts, but let's look at this next one. Okay, t of x equals x squared plus 1 over x minus 6. I don't care about the numerator. It's all about the denominator. You can see all right, it's a value of x such that x cannot be what number? 6, right? Uh, the next one's a little tougher. Don't care about the numerator. It's all about the denominator. So let's factor it. I'll do the old um, x thing here. 1 times 2 is 2. 1 times negative 5 is negative 5. Negative 5 plus 2 is negative 3. So I've got the right combination. So we're looking at x minus 5 and x plus 2. I don't want them to equal 0, okay? Because that makes the denominator go to 0. So that means x cannot equal 5. Negative 2. So, so values of x such that 
x does not equal pi over 2. What's that one? I guess I will make it through all of them. The last one's tricky, okay? What do you think the last one is? <laughs> it's weird, huh? Because you don't see a variable in the denominator, so you're like, I don't know. Well, when can the denominator be before this one? Always, right? So your domain is all real numbers. You want to see it written in set builder? Sometimes people write it like this. So values, value of x, values of x such that x belongs to all real numbers. Like that. So that was actually easier than you thought it was, huh? But again, the moral of the story, for when you're finding the domain, ignore the numerator, okay? It's all about the denominator.